tilting. The boat sank early this morning. San Diegans can take a step back in aviation history this weekend. There is a World War II vintage B-17 bomber at Gillespie Field. You can look at it or you can even fly on it. KUSI's Doug Curley did just that today. The roar of the engine starts it all. It's a sound you seldom, if ever, hear anymore. The fascination these old warbirds have for people of all ages is never ending. There's often a look of wonder on their faces as they look around and transport themselves back in time. In today's aviation scene, the B-17's a small airplane. But back then, it was a monster of the skies. It was America's first operational four-engine bomber. It's no cushy ride. This is a warplane, pure and simple. Sean Elliott flies the aluminum overcast for the Experimental Aircraft Association. The reactions he gets stay with him always. You get every emotion imaginable from everything from veterans that have not seen the airplane for 50 plus years with a very emotional reunion, tears often, to family members that lost loved ones, that this brings them a lot closer to what their loved one was involved with. As we move along, Jerry Wing, what an appropriate name, can't keep the grin off his face. What brings you up on this? A uh, chance of a lifetime to fly in a B-17. Yeah? I, it was here a few months ago, and I read about it in the paper the day afterwards. So I said, if I ever get the chance again, I'm going to do it. It's loud, but not as loud as you'd think it would be. Of course, there's no 50 caliber machine guns being fired right behind me either. The plane is rock steady in the air. That came in handy when you were heading for a German ball bearing factory or an oil field or Berlin or fighting for your life against enemy fighters. People aboard the flight, myself included, can't get enough of watching the operation. The flight is far, far too short, only 24 minutes from wheels up to touchdown. But it was long enough for Craig Cups to understand at long last what his father had talked about all those years as Craig was growing up. He actually said he was afraid most of the time he flew and uh, was always very happy when they landed. That Craig's dad came home to tell those stories is significant. A lot of tail gunners didn't make it back. In fact, 4,750 B-17s never made it home at all. 46,500 Americans died in the air war over Europe and the Pacific. The death toll among air crews was horrendous, but that was war, a war that had to be won. Thanks to planes like this, it was. Doug Curley, KUSI News. We'll have more news ahead.